All right, guys, we are back with some more dislike content. And of course, you might notice something different here. We got the homie Liling, okay? Now, this guy is absolutely busted after this last patch. They completely reworked him. I actually wasn't even going to do a video on this guy yet because, to be honest, I didn't have him. <laughs> so I was like, well, no need to do it. Can't really show him. It'll just be kind of talking about him. But I have been able to actually test him out, use him. Uh, really give you an idea of what he might be long term uh, even short term so of course guys if you find that you like this video make sure you let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to comment hashtag zox light and also make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any dislike content that we have coming now or in the near future all right so let's get into it all right this guy Okay, somebody in game said it best. He's the five star version of Mona, if that's fair to say. And then to be quite fair, I'm gonna kinda sorta have to give him the better version. And it's really because, and, and it kind of makes sense, right? Because when we're thinking in terms of who got nerfed, who got revamped, reworked completely, Mona got nerfed, and coincidentally, Niza gets, gets revamped completely, and their kits, not that they're exactly the same, but they are pretty similar in how they operate, right? So we're going to go through uh, his kit right now and just take a look at his ability. So his S1 is Lance Burner. So this deals damage to an enemy equal to 110% of attack and absorbs 15% of their AP. Um, and the damage can be increased to 130%. Now keep in mind, Mona also has abilities where she's able to deal damage and also reduce uh, AP as well so that's another thing to just for comparison purposes that is really similar uh then going into his tai chi now this is after you do the advancement on it uh it attacks an enemy five times each dealing damage equal to 30 percent of attack with 50 percent of damage dealt converted into healing i mean mona mona 2.0 i don't mean he's his own character so i can't call him mona 2.0 but he, he is essentially the five star version okay uh so each strike deals true damage equal to six percent of the target's max hp the true damage is up to 80 percent of nizo's attack so this is even more important to understand why you would build him a certain way because he does do damage based off of the enemy's hp six percent of it to be exact but that true damage it is scaling off of his attack so that is another factor we'll get into the build and kind of how you want to go about that but that is super huge obviously you know you get damage increases at uh, all the way up to level four and then at level five cooldown reduction by one turn all right so that's pretty much that uh then his last ability his s3 is called alter so this attacks all enemies three times each dealing damage equal to 30 percent of attack plus true damage equal to six percent of the target's match hp the true damage is up to 80 percent of niza's attack and the last strike deals 30 percent or still sorry 30 percent of the target's ap so as you can see from what we're getting from him we're getting ap reduction um we're getting true damage uh and i mean just really pure damage and hp uh scaling damage so hp damage dealers are always 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 op and most high level stages because most bosses typically have a shit ton of hp so this guy absolutely shreds i even and if you add him with with like debuffers and a buffer like dude i think with my current team right now and this shitty build i have on this guy he's able to do an aoe for like 86k damage like it's something stupid and i was just like okay <laughs> that's kind of insane but dude's absolutely amazing the more you skill him up obviously you're going to be getting more damage out of him uh and that's the thing with this version or the revamping of him is he is completely night and day from what he used to be it's way way better now um now let's get into the relics here now relics recommended said i would go for to be honest especially based off of how he scales um i definitely would go with the uh wrath of jupiter uh as well as the fiery uh and cannon sense uh set as well um this is and i guess this is kind of like where your dilemma might come up because i know some people you know gonna ask why would you build them this way right uh now granted my relics are kind of crappy and that's why i said this is even with crappy relics ideally what i would want in this slot is like attack percent um the uh spade 
um shape attack percent as well you can go for speed but because he does scale a lot more off of his attack you want to try to get as much attack as you possibly can uh and then with crit rate set on him um i went with crit damage crit damage is really going to be super super op and it procs like i said more often than you think than not so obviously the kinks you'd have to work out over time would be like you know your substats because you can uh you know filter out more speed and substats more crit damage uh more crit rate things of that nature in your substats but i would say for the main stats um definitely crit damage attack attack percent um and then if you want to you know if like for pvp purposes get them a little bit faster you can definitely utilize like you know a speed uh main stat instead but these are definitely the sets that i would recommend i really wouldn't go for hades set only because he innately restores so much hp uh with the 50 percent conversion after you get that to uh phase three uh it's just really op uh unlike mona he, he does restore a lot more hp than mona too that's the other thing so um massive amounts of hits he's able to keep his hp up too uh and really the biggest thing is trying to get those skill ups so skill ups are going to be super super imperative especially getting to the level five or the last level of each of them uh for the ones that have a cooldown reduction because that's really where you're going to see him really shining when he's able to spam his abilities a lot quicker so then going into his growth um now like i always say it's always, always, always imperative to look at Ascension because Ascension kind of tells you some of the main stats that a character has to focus on. So attack defense on first phases, uh, phase one and two, um, and then phase three, it changes. So you go from not having the HP conversion to actually getting the uh, HP conversion here. So that's really where you want and why you want to get him to phase three. Every character's phase three is pretty important, but his is definitely necessary uh, for sustainability. Um, then when, if we go to phase four, we get speed boost, um, HP on phase five, and then on the last phase is attack. So that kind of shows you some of the stats that are going to be pretty imperative to making this character super busted. Um, he is an AOE like nuker. He can do single target damage um, as well. So he, he is a little bit of both. Um, one of my personal favorite pairings that I have so far is him and um, uh, White Tiger. White Tiger, absolutely busted with him. And they also, if I'm not mistaken, um, have really, really good synergy with the bleed, the damage. Like they're just, they're, oh God, they're just, they're so good. They're so good. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to be everything with him. Um, the big thing is, and I guess I can show you guys a, a run currently, like, uh, dude's absolutely busted. And let's see, we could actually run, I guess we can run Ritual maybe, or we can do Sonic. I mean, Sonic is pretty easy. Let's see, we can do, I think I can do floor nine with this crappy build. All right, so we're gonna go to floor eight. Let's see, okay, so yeah, floor eight, not bad. We're gonna take it off of auto. Okay, she went for exactly what I needed, but uh, do we need, no, we'll just do that. Um, no defense break, but we're gonna go for the attack up. Uh, now, as you can see here, like situations like this, straight up AOE, bro. It's pretty good damage, 47K, and that's without the defense break. Uh, and then Mona should be able to finish this off. Let's go. So yeah, he's really, really OP on units that have a crap ton of HP. Um, and honestly, the higher up you go in like Kronos, a Pep, uh, everything is going to have more HP. Uh, the biggest thing I would say though is definitely making sure you have coverage. Um, now this team can actually auto nine. It's probably like a 90 to 85% success rate. It just all kind of depends on what the AI likes to do. The AI sometimes uses single target abilities uh, instead of his AOE. And it kind of like, depending on what moves are used first, it can kind of mess up a run. Um, now in terms of like the single target ability here, Tai Chi, massive amounts of damage and you see all that healing like he, that was a lot of healing it was like 1.3k 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 that's a lot of hp coming back to him uh so let's see we get the kill and we'll go for a single punch here uh we're not gonna worry about hp right now because everybody's gonna get it back on chronos then his lance burner critting for 8k just casually that's cool and this is the thing too guys this is a really crappy build this is a really crappy build. All right, so now we're gonna go with this. Ah, oh, man, we didn't get the defense break, but that's cool. Um, we're gonna go with immunity. We don't really need it, but I mean, we didn't need the uh, heal, but we needed that. 
Uh, so now we're going to go with the AOE. 64k without defense break. Pretty good. Not bad. 35. So see what I'm saying? Like 35. Like that's my Mona. My Mona has way better gear than uh, Nizu. So that's why I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, it's really, really nice that uh, they did revamp him because this guy, this guy's absolutely busted. We're gonna go ahead and give him that invincibility. And then we'll go with the single target ability here. 35k. The huge. Okay. There you go. Yeah, so it's absolutely like ridiculous to be honest. Like how much damage this guy can do. All right, that's sweet. Oh, he got stunned. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, we'll go for this. We'll, we'll just finish it up. We'll finish it up. Get the heal going. We actually got the defense breaks. Oh, wait. We might be able to get some busted damage here. Let's see. Let's see who gets stunned. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, oh, I don't want to kill. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to we're gonna shift the damage here for a second. Oh, no. He only has his Lance ability. Never mind, guys. I'm sorry. Still 10k crit. Just because. <laughs> just because. Just cause. But, yeah. I mean... I don't know, y'all. The proof is in the pudding. The guy is freaking disgusting. Please be attacked. Oh, God, no. I need an attack percent. Relic farming is still a pain. But, yeah, dude is absolutely busted. I mean, like I said, my normal record, if I auto this, is a lot faster. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys, like, his moves. Like, oh, this guy is so good. He's so good. He's so good. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much going to be Liling. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you're using another build. Uh, like I said, the build that I recommend is just a general one that you can utilize um, to make sure you're getting enough damage. Uh, and depending on your team comp, pvp even this guy is an absolute monster he's a really scary unit um but yeah that's pretty much going to be that for this video like let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right guys peace